and she's um, African American, and I've been dealing with racism in this district for a very long time. There's this racial undercurrent here. School superintendent, they have not done anything. What some consider a homecoming tradition in Baraboo escalated into something that left five students fearing for their lives and parents pointing to a pattern of racial issues. Three adults were arrested last week. One of them, for now, faces charges. Our Naomi Coles talked with four of the students who were there today. Naomi? At the heart of the fear and anger is a school official that families believe did not protect their kids. Baraboo School District's athletic director was involved in what's been described as a vigilante effort to scare five kids away from TPing a home. I'll let them tell their story. I was scared for my life. He's like, don't come to my effing house. And then he like, like a, a fire shot up. John, Teflon, Trayvon, Orlando, and a fifth friend are all on Baraboo High's football team. Oh, yeah. Wednesday night, John was driving as the five planned to TP a local friend's house. We've been told that TPing is like sort of okay for the most part, mm -hmm. that we just can't like throw eggs or like rocks. It went downhill quickly. Several men who live on the street were there waiting. That's according to court records for one adult, John Kohler, who's now charged with disorderly conduct. We didn't even like get to the house, to be honest. Like we just turned around the corner on the street and the dude was there with like a flamethrower. And then we all kind of like panicked. I hear Orlando, he was like, he was like, he has an effing flamethrower, run. When I opened the door, they were shouting at me to get on the ground. And so I was on my knees or whatever. Orlando and Trayvon ran. I took off first. John and Teflon were forced to the ground with their hands up. Their white friend who stayed was not. I don't think any of us thought that there was a racial component until the young man stepped forward and said that he was not grouped with them, that he was not subjected to the same intimidation. Two parents we talked with say their sons are traumatized and they're all losing sleep. But most hurtful of all, that the boy's athletic director, initially arrested but not charged, helped stop the car. If he never stopped the car, we would have got out of there perfectly fine and nothing even would have happened bad. I just don't feel safe with him. John's mom, Kiana, was granted a restraining order against James Langkamp. Trayvon's mom, Sarah, is also filing a restraining order today. What would stop him from continuing to harass or intimidate my son? He didn't protect our children, you know, as an athletic director, you know. He works with our children every day, and um, he's supposed to be, they look up to him. I feel he needs to resign or be terminated. While the boy's story largely lines up with what other witnesses say happened in court records, Lane Kemp told police he wasn't involved in the incident until the car had already stopped and the boys were on the ground. He says he was part of de-escalating the incident. The school told me the athletic director is on non-disciplinary leave right now, pending an internal investigation of the incident.